This is what it's like, don't you like? This is the power of God. It's like he can have to stop that thing. This is Hey, you demon. So what is that? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing to her? For nothing. I want her to die. For not her. Why do you want her to die? She's intelligent. She's intelligent. What have you done to her? I put things huh? in her. Yeah, you can hear that. You can put things in her. It's shut. This shot, yes. So remove your things. Eh? No. You don't want to remove your yep. things? Yes. Eh? No. I no. want to kill her. From blood. Yeah. Her. No. And this boy. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. So you can see. Him. So, let's move this child. Sacrifice, yeah. You want to sacrifice? Yeah. For what? You want to sacrifice for what? So you, you, your idol. Your idol, eh? Yeah. Eh? So today you leave her. No. Eh? I want to kill her. They were supposed to be dead long time ago. Yes. 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 What does she want here? What does she want here? I'm holding everything. I want to kill her through an accident while she's driving. She must die. I put her things. What do you want here? You don't want her to be here. What does she want from you? You don't want her to come here. Why don't you want her to come? She's very intelligent. So today you will leave She's going to die. In the name of Jesus. Today I destroy you. Jesus' name. Away, Puma. Away, away, away. The name of Jesus is above all names. You laugh when you are hiding. In the name of Jesus, laugh when you are standing. I put fire there. Even where you are standing, I put fire. All over this room, there is fire, man. All over your body, also there is fire. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Today you are defeated, you are living here. You are living here today. In the name of Jesus, Ben, catch fire. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Can you bring it until she dies? The time is up. Yeah. I destroy you. Ah! In the name of Jesus Christ. You are defeated. In the name of Jesus. You are defeated. In the name of Jesus. Ah! Puma! Come out. Take care. She wants to vomit here. Put her up.
Greetings in the name of Jesus. Uh, my name is uh, Victor Ntimane, and I have come here with my family, my wife, and uh, my little young boy. We, uh, my wife's name is uh, Tandiwe Ntimane as well, and the boy's name is Mbewiezwi. Um, <coughs> so we are coming actually from Mpumalanga in Nelspreit, where we are situated. And um, we came here because uh, we wanted to see uh, the pastor, the man of God, because we heard that uh, he helps people about uh, issues that are not all right. Because uh, we also had a lot of problems which were come against to, to us uh, since August, things were not good in our lives. We were trying in our own, moving there and there to seek help, but um, things didn't get right to us. So that is why we decided to come here from Pumalanga to here so that we can get uh, assisted to the issues that we have come across with. Well, uh, what actually happened to us as, uh, as a family we, 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 we started seeing an attack on us. Uh, and um, <clears throat> since it started, uh, I can say actually this thing was there. But uh, seriously, the attack, we started noted it by the time of August. And uh, we, 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 we had this young little boy of us who started uh, sick. And it was like uh, it's a cough when we we look at it. And um, the first week of uh, of that month, we took her to the clinic, and they observed him, and they discovered that uh, they can't actually really tell us what was wrong with the boy, because if they check him, it seems okay, but uh, things was so difficult to him. He was sick, and then after two two three weeks down the line the same thing happened to the boy and um, it was by night during night where we wanted to sleep and then the boy uh, got sick too much on that day and he even died on that day and after that we prayed and we prayed for a while I think it took us roughly about an hour and then the boy awake and after that, the same attack that happened on the boy, uh, after two to three days, it attacked my wife. And from there, my wife started getting ill on that day. She was ill. She couldn't feel herself better. It's like uh, around herself, it was like something which was moving on the head. She couldn't feel there are things that are like... Things like uh, whenever she could uh, describe, she said it was like she feels uh, ants in in the ne in the in the head. The moving around his head, moving around the body, all over his body. She could feel the dizzy. Sometimes she could even feel like it's like uh, she keeps, she must fall down. And most of the time, those are the things which used to happen to her: feeling not good, feeling not strong enough, losing appetite, couldn't eat well. She never had that interest of doing anything right. So those are the things. So after all then, that's where we, we went out to, to look for help for others, but we couldn't get uh, the right help. So that's when now we discovered that um, Pastor Makanania can help us. And then we took a decision to come to cherish church uh, so that we can have help. How, how I started to know about cherries is uh, it was through television. 
and even then even though we we saw it on television years back my wife was in Jobek and he he he, he 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 there was a day that he came she came uh, to visit at Charish so that's when now uh, when we saw it on television she decided that no man I remember I know this uh, pastor from Charis ministry that she, she used to do such things because uh, what we were actually looking for we were looking for somebody that will do deliverance on her to deliver on all these things that uh, are moving in the body so, so when we saw the man of God uh, we sat down with him and uh, he greeted us and he told us to be free and we sat down and he told us we must feel comfortable and after all uh, he he told us about our issues um, firstly he told us about uh, our marriage issue that our marriage he wanted us to tell that uh, we've got problems on our marriages and we need to sort out especially me that uh, other things it's me who is uh, uh, full of anger i need to sort out my issue of anger because the marriage that we have is not just an ordinary marriage it's the marriage that god actually ordained it that is why we feel like things are not working right is because god knows what he deposited on us that's the first thing that uh, um, he uh, counseled us with that uh, the, the marriage is not just any marriage but it's only god who put his hand because there are things that god wants us to do to to the world uh well we confirm it because uh, i remember that um, the first uh, people that are met also on outside uh cherish there were other people that uh, told me that uh, in us there is something that uh, we need to look at because god has done it for us and we need to do what god has said to second, the second life. thing that was the issue that uh, we came with the issue of our family sickness and then he took us through to that as well that how it started and uh, but he is going to help us he's going to to make that sickness that is moving through the family because what he said to us that the sickness that is in us is a moving sickness it moves from one person to another in the family so he will deal with it he will help us so that this thing mustn't also again uh, give us problems he will deal with it he will help us and um, really after we have talked about it uh, he prayed for us he prayed for us and um, here we are we are delivered there now is, there is a third thing which he told us uh, uh, because when we we went through talking with him uh, another thing it was um, the calling that is uh, in us he told us uh, where we are now we are going church but he sees us that uh, in us there is a work of god that god has deposited in us and we we need to take that serious because most of the time the attacks that we see is uh, that attacks because god wants us to move on and we are standing still we are doing nothing of what god has deposited actually in us he will just pray for us so that uh, we can start god's work and do what god has said we must do and we mustn't actually look for bigger things we we, we must start this uh, ministry as small as it is he even explained to us that when he also started charis he started charis with his family he said you must also go and do the same you will see wonders what god will do to you there's a lot of things that god is going to bless you with well uh, i am feeling fine i'm okay and uh, i've also seen whenever he was uh, 
praying for my wife. There are a lot of things that happened and uh, that gave me also the trust that uh, she is fine, she's uh, well. My, my words of encouragement is that um, if there are people that need also help, they can also uh, come to, 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 to get help because um, I have seen that the man of God can really tell you exactly what the problem is and how things have started in you. He can explain to you everything. It's not that he is uh, guessing that uh, why and what you, but uh, he doesn't want to find out from you. He will just go straight to the thing and he will tell you, this is what happened to you and it's the, if I lie, tell me. So I, I really liked that. And another thing, it's um, I, I've loved the way he took us.